This is before. And now we have reached over here. Pretty well good difference. Hello guys, hope you all doing well. I am back with a new video. Today we are going to see how I mix the vocals in a song. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm not going to use any of the stock plugins of any DAW. So you can use these plugins I'm going to show in any of your favorite DAW. I'm going to use the Waves plugins and the Fab Filter. For equalizing, I'm going to use Fab Filter Pro Q3. This is my favorite plugin for, for equalizing because I can make results very quickly as compared to others. You can use stock plugins. For example, the Logic has this very good equalizer. It also has the analyzer. You can see visual graph as it is in Fab Filter. But I'm going to stick with Fab Filter. Okay, let's start. We're going to start with the equalizer first. Let's close all the plugins and loop the vocals from here. Let's listen to the vocal. Or I think you should listen to the vocals first without any plugins. You can notice that the vocals have been recorded very well. By the way, no processing has been done yet other than the auto tuner. That is just to give a little bit of the electronic feel. I forgot to turn off the logic EQ. Okay, so we are going to start on the fab filter. We can see in the graph that the vocal is not so deep. Low frequencies are not so much there in it. Let's create a high pass filter to analyze the low frequencies with our ears. Yes, nothing is well audible below this point. Usually the vocals are being cut below 100 or 90 hertz but this vo vocal is not so deep so let's cut this vocal below 140 this process not just cleans up the vocals but also leaves a lot of space for the low frequency sounds Let's listen the vocal where there are low frequencies in the music. This is before. This is after much cleaner sound in the low frequencies so next we're going to remove the muddiness from the vocals let me increase these frequencies somewhere in this area so I'm going to just cut it down 
the vocals are quite clear now hansi labo par aankhon mein nami hansi labo par labo par all right somewhere around 800 to 1k there is something nasal sounding voice adjustment i'm going to make is going to make this vocal a little bit louder so many cuts already i'm going to make a boost around 4k to 3.5k don't go below this it might make your vocal sound harsh I'm going to make a small boost of around 2 to 3k. Next, I'm going to boost everything above 7 or 8k to give this vocal more air. But during this boost I'll make sure the frequency is not boosting this area because this area is going to have lots of s's in it and you can cut it as well if the vocals is too brighter or too airy already so I'll go around this position for now before kya dikha rahe ho kya gham hai jisko chupa rahe ho tum itna jab after kya dikha rahe ho kya gham hai jisko before chupa rahe and after tum itna jab before after rahe kya dikha rahe ho so the next plugin i'm going to use is the digital version of la plugins i just love this one it is so effective and quick to use so let's turn it on first i'll go I'll go with the preset vox over here and that's kya almost it. Rahe ho kya gham hai jisko chupa rahe ho tum kya dikha rahe ho kya dikha rahe ho kya gham hai jisko Okay one more very important thing particularly for this song I'm going to turn it off if you want to know why I have a very quick small video on that you might be able to see a link in the cards somewhere around over here you can just click on that kya dikha rahe ho kya Now again a quick before and after before 
The next plugin in the chain is R D S R by Waves. Although these vocals are not so hard with respect to the S's, but I think they still need just a little bit of them. Okay, so this is a limiter, but I don't think so that that this track needs a limiter at least yet. We'll move towards the sends effect. I have already created the buses on which the plugins have been loaded. The first one is called R Verb by Waves. I have chosen a preset from here that is the plates and the vocal plate. Okay. I have increased the time and decreased the pre-delay. Here is a quick tip. Always set the pre-delay according to the tempo of your song. Let's move further. Let me turn it on. Okay, so I'm compressing the effects as well. Again, the same uh, preset. Some people don't do this, but I do it sometimes. Set it to the point where it sounds correct. So we'll find the sweet spot somewhere in between. So the next effect I'm going to go with is the delay effect. I'm going to use H delay by waves and these are the settings I have already made. Again the analog is off for this particular song. Chosen the ping pong. The host BPM setting is going to go with this 75 tempo. Let's turn it on and listen to it. We're going to find a sweet spot. Again a compressor with the same settings. Kya dekha? 
क्या दिखा रहे हो क्या गम है जिसको छुपा रहे हो तुम क्या दिखा रहे हो क्या गम है जिसको छुपा रहे हो तुम क्या दिखा रहे हो सो वी आर डन आई गेस लेट सी from where we started and kya dekha where we have reached kya dekha rahe ho kya gam this is before chupa kya dekha rahe ho and now we have reached over here kya dekha rahe ho kya gam hai jisko pretty well good difference this song has been released on youtube you can go and listen to this i have given the link in this video get connected with me on instagram you can ask me questions you can follow me on facebook if you like this video please please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel peace kya dikha